Welcome to Ju Sun Gaming. And today we try to finish off our godly secret squad secret squad run. Because strictly speaking, this has been one of the most godlike secret squad runs I've ever experienced. Specifically because let's just say and I'm not being I'm not overblowing this up. I've lost only one grid for a secret squad that's insane. Not only that, we managed to get all the quote unquote pilots have mech reactor. It actually helped in the whole first island. And not only that, we have obtained the wind torrent and a force amp. Right now, those are usually the number one passive and number one weapon in my book. It can work on any squad. Because even if the squad doesn't have enough pushing power, the wind torrent does. Okay. With that said, let's finish off this four island victory in this specific episode. And of course, let's try to minimize the grid we lo the grid we lose because we really really want it to be on our top score. Oh man, I can't believe this. I really really hate such missions that really really force me to do this. Our scarab will be here. There's really no reason for him to go up close. Of course, okay. The Hornet will have no problem going here and just busting a nut. Oh dear. Wind torrent for the wind. Hmm, feels amazing. We've already finished all our objectives. We just need to get as many kills as possible. Although I doubt it would defeat our previous kings of those because, <laughs> well, let's just say defeating the all range squad of kills quite difficult now specifically because well the first island of secret squad really really lacks kills oh really now you guys oh you guys hmm how do I deal with you Let's go with this. Vroom. And let's go for the center part just to mock him. Because the Hornet being at the center is basically he can go anywhere. Oh look, they're stranded. All ground units. You know what happens, right? Basically this. Mm. It's a massacre. <laughs> Three cheers for the secret squad. Oh man. I think it's amazing that they were briefed that our mechs look like Vec. Where do we put you? Well, I think Hmm, five, four, two. We really do not need to power up kickoff boosters just yet. I think having the Techno Scarab tank something, at the very least, a normal leaper, would be quite amazing. Defend the tanks. Let's go. 
This is, this is also one of the few occasions where the Secret Squad, I think this is a run that has not failed its objectives just yet. Hmm, okay. Let's consider our options here. We have a good force amp, we just need to know how do we apply it. This is a good application. It really repels off a lot of the problems. Yeah, and this guy is ready to smash. Okay, next one please. Of course the spiderlings are being a problem, but at the very least, we just removed a lot of nuisance. Okay, so we only need to disable this spider. Okay, I think I have the solution. It does require this guy to be somewhere... Here. And then I do this. And then, and then I just do this. Yep. Amazing. Look at that length. Look at that range. <laughs> Look at that power. That's the power of a six tile displacement omnidirectional push. Oh, you want to play. You guys really want to play, do you? Woohoo! Hmm. It might not be Silica Wind Torrent, but it is. A force amp wind torrent nonetheless. And let's start putting the army near us. Because we've wiped out all the Vec. Oh man, if I was reaching actually for the stars and for the kills. Yeah, I should not block Vec spawn with that amount. There are so few. But I should have not blocked any back spawn. <laughs> My mistake. Time pot again. Really, I don't think I need this. I have better weaponry. Everything is finished here. I could finish everything up here, but I think it's time for us to kick off boosters this up. Hmm. And another problem, we're going to overclock some some of them. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. Huh. I think it's safe to assume I want the scarab there. 
where I could just fire from a lot of directions. Oh, that's going to kill off. But doing this is equally strong. Okay, I'm just going to use the charge to be here. That's what I meant. That did hurt me, but... Well, normal. That's normal. There we go. Man, with this much firepower and a lot of HP, the actual Cyan is actually helping me here. Let's be careful. The explosive sign is going to kill off a lot of stuff if I'm not careful. So let's just remove them now. Hmm. Okay, 4 HP. I have 3 damage flat. So I can just push this guy here and just go for a straight carnage? No, I'm just going to kill off this guy. Like so! <laughs> Let's go for the flawless victory, folks. Of course, this is not specifically a flawless run. If I was able to save that one single grid, that's the point. If you get greedy, you have go you're going to get a lot of regrets. There's just so many things that could have happened that you want to happen. Just a lot of regrets. Yeah, let's just remove you. Get away from me. I cannot kill those three. I could have thought something to kill those three, but I'd rather not waste your time, folks. <laughs> Let's not get too greedy with the score, specifically since the score mostly are the civilian count rather than vec kills. Tidal waves. I know this is the easier mission, but let's go for more kills instead. Although these areas have hornets though, so that's something to consider. This is the move. It pushes him away. Yep. Now, what's the best solution we could ever ask for? Going upward sounds fine. Like so. Let's continue. Oh man, he really didn't even bother considering that move of his.
I just need to push this guy away. But first, I need to destroy this. And I think that's possible with this. With these two working together in harmony. Soften his guy up. And just go very near in on the action. There we go. Kill as many as we can possibly muster. Okay, I can actually let the artillery get that. Oh man, this is like the best move I can actually ask for. You kill off this puny maggot. And we're just picking off what we consider Oh, uh, we can't let them, you know, kiss and make up, but Yeah, I'd rather remove the Weber. The Weber really really kills off a lot of strategies I have in mind. Especially Alpha Scorpions, which are, you know, 5 HP. 5 HP monstrosities. Let's just do this. Really, really show them the... The power that I hold. This power. Hmm. We're done! We have killed every single thing that spawned. <laughs> and of course, those were multiple spawning without blocking any vec. So I'm ready for you, last. I mean, you're not the last boss per se, but close enough. I think I'll go with this, because with this move, the sp Oh yeah, I forgot, this is not the type of spider that actually wants... This, ac this is not actually the type of spider that's... <laughs> well, let's consider... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, let's go with this. The kickoff boosters are helping. Really, really helps a lot. Oh yeah, I think a better move would be this. Yeah! The force amp is going to magnify this damage so much. Oh man. Good luck, spider leader! Good luck! Your whole army is being decimated in front of you. Wow, you really hate your own subordinates. And look at this move. Oh man, this is brutal. Force Amp, everybody. Force Amp. That's the power of Force Amp. Can't help but feel the... The true strength of the Secret Squad the moment you bypass the incredibly difficult first island. The first island syndrome, I would like to call it. That's just normal for this squad by this point. Hmm, that's what I call... Nice. Oh, okay, I can't do that. Let's just go near the action. And try to kill these three, which is most likely possible, except that two of them are flying. Yeah, sure. I actually need two people to kill this guy off, so yeah, I cannot kill this. I can't kill two birds with one stone, I need two push. Ok, 
can only kill these guys. Yeah, measly two damage. Retreat, retreat now because you've been leaderless for so long. <laughs> I'd rather have kickoff boosters than this. And of course, we're just going to get the pilot so I could sell him. Oh wow, look at this. We have, strictly speaking, two options. Two options. For a better weapon than the kickoff boosters. Oh man, this is like... I mean, it's quite a shame that this is not the top 1 score. This is just going to be top 2, we lost a grid. Ah. Well, strictly speaking, with this, this kind of luck, I wouldn't have even considered the Secret Squad having only lost one grid by this point. Look at this. Look at that. That's insane to me. We lost one grid. Oh man, we're so close to a perfect score. It's it leaves such a bad taste in my mouth sometimes. Kick off boosters, you're no longer needed. I am now <clears throat> considering one of these two. But here's the thought. Here's the here's the thought in mind. Do we need more damage? We do have Wind Torrent. Let's go back first. So right now we are, strictly speaking, we can allocate some points so that the Techno Hornet can put some of the stuff in his side to be put on the Ice Generator. Because, strictly speaking, the Missile Barrage is not that helpful. It's 2 damage max and we have a Wind Torrent for multiple displacement and a lot of firepower. And this is just 2 damage. With, with our amount of offensive capabilities, we don't need a 2 damage AoE. Unless we're going to consider the Blobbers and the Spiders in Volcanic Hive. That's the only thing worth considering, in my opinion. So I think an Ice Generator would be a better weapon for us. It's just going to cost a lot of, a lot of cores for us. I do mean a lot. Do we need any more on the others? We don't need smoke behind. We need... We don't need uh, more health. This is fully maxed. So let's put every single core on these spots. We don't need more health for the Techno Hornet. He could do Ice Generator in case he's encumbered by webs. And he has godlike move. So we're done. This is our strong guest kit yet. This actually, well... Up for debate, but this is actually a stronger load at the loadout than than our top scorer. Four islands secured. Let's go for our four island victory for that type of score. Top two boys, top two. A blobber. We don't have kickoff. We don't have kickoff booster, so we're going to let's bait. The blobber to put his blob here, where it's not going to hurt anybody because I doubt the grid would be put here. This, specifically speaking, is the. This vulcan. This mountain tile is actually designed that there's not going to be any grid here nor here because this is usually where the lava pools are put. So he's going to waste a move there. No, he did not. God damn it. 
This guy's dead, but I can't move him away. Oh man, we're already in a conundrum, huh? Okay, okay, okay. This opens this guy up and this kills him off. And this is going to what we're going to be do, doing, we're going to do specifically. The problem there, okay, let's reconsider, okay? Because the blobber is still active. I think we should freeze. No, 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 no. Let's do a better move than that. That was a sorry, pathetic move, an excuse, because we could have done this instead. This would have freed the Firefly on the spot. Okay, the Firefly being here is a lot better of a move, in my opinion. You go here. Now, free me. Yeah, free me. This will kill off that guy. And this move will kill off this blob. At the very least, with our push, we were able to block a Vex spawn. Although it did save that scorpion. There we go. Oh man, I forgot the force amp did that much damage if they do that. Okay, so right now, the best move... is very difficult to see. We have plenty of problems right now. This actually kills the blobber nicely. We just need to relocate, allocate ourselves so that... Hmm. If I don't free this guy, he's going to die anyway. Hmm. That's outside my mark, which is annoying. That's going to kill off the Scarab. This disables everyone while it frees my guys. Okay. Right? Okay, first of all, let's just use the Scarab to remove this pathetic a-hole. 
and try to minimize damage by killing off And with this, the Ice Generator here is the perfect move. Because... I will free myself and the... Oh wow, the Cyan Tentacles goes first. Okay. So at the very least, that means <laughs> our Hornet now has 1 HP. At the very least, the sign is now dead. And this is the reason why we picked up Cyan I mean we picked up Ice Generator. Because I foresaw this. I foresaw this event. No, you're not freeing him, you bastard. I'm just slowly going to roast each and every one of you. Because once everyone's free, I mean once the last turn, I'm going to win Torrent to the left. So that, oh man, the Ice Generator actually froze that part. So I can't even kill the Blubber. Well. You can say one thing, the volcano is helping us kill. Oh, even you had your limits. Oh well. Let's do this. Let's kill this guy off, he's going to harm. Him being alive will harm us. Even if the grid here doesn't coincide with the coincide with the score, I at least would want this volcanic hive to be a perfect run because our top one scorer didn't. Oh man, imagine that. If one of them had the ice generator, I could have salvaged some of that power those parts, but Having... No, 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 no. Their loadout is, strictly speaking, fine. Having le one less of those for an ice generator might have been more detrimental. But I would have killed for a force amp on that run. This just clears off a lot of shit. This is dead. This is now dead. And I'm blocking- no, let's not block Vex spawns. I want a challenge because we have wiped everyone. Look at that power. You might say the Hornet is really really carrying its weight because of its stronger Prime Spear attack but the explosive goo is just oh my god it's so amazing. Let me kill you off now. Quite problematic fellow you. Whoops. Okay, let's redo that. But instead, let's make the explosive goo do its move first. Oh, I love Forest Amp. I love it so much. 
No, no, let's make him near the center. We have that luxury to actually use his prime spear three tile range. It's like it's like if you combine the prime spear and the flame launcher into a strong three damage tile without flames and without the acid acid tip. But who cares? You have three damage flat. Okay, the solution here is To the left! Oh man, him being there is actually a wrong move. I could actually do this instead. It would let the Scion survive, and our Hornet is not in a, in, a, in a fit position. So I think I would rather do this. Yeah. Keep, I keep moving the bomb because of how much of our range... How much of our range this... Freak of nature is. The explosive goo is a freak of nature. You must be so... So jealous of your cousin. Or your of your or your cousin twice removed. Okay, I think since we're very, very isolated here, let's just let him deal with this. And now this this is the only one remaining. That's a quite a problem. This, let's just ignore him now. Hello! Welcome to your... Creator. And we've won our four island victory with only one grid destroyed. Oh man. What I would've wished for that grid not to have been destroyed. No one talked because <laughs> there were no pilots. It's like basically they're all AI by this point. That AI that actually learns skills. Yeah. Hmm. But this is quite the triumph. Sakran, Xlatl, and Taxetizl. Going with the naming scheme of Kazakh Plath race. 29844. Let's go to top two. Top two. We lost only one grid. Oh my god. I would have wanted this to be top one. I'm not I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I would have wanted this to be top one specifically because look at how stacked that is. These three. You would kill to have this in any run. One of these in any run. But I got all of them. You might say this is my top one weaponry well this is my top uh, this is my top one weaponry top one passive this is my top two weaponry so <sighs> alpha firefly considering this bypassed the normal hornet in most destructive in just a single run this is the cause of us losing our top one secret squad possibilities i hate you damn it if I knew this run would have been perfect, uh, yeah, either way, we already were, we were so lucky enough for, we were already lucky enough to get these two, these two to have mech reactors in the first island. It helped a lot. It helped a lot remove the damage possibilities. And of course, now that our godly run has ended, our three and two island victory attempts with Secret Squad will be quite bloody now. I doubt these two will get mech reactor again. But look at this. 104 kills. They bypassed the top one score for total kills. 
zero failed objectives as well. Meaning, if we saved that single grid, this would have been the best score ever. But of course, not everything goes as planned, especially in subset games. But I am loving that this is my top two. <laughs> I love this color scheme, by the way. Hazardous mechs on an all-range squad, the best all-range squad, and the secret squad with the awesome flame behemoth color palette. So, with that said, guys, thank you for joining me in this episode. I hope you enjoy. I hope you join me in the next one where we are going to attempt either a two or three island victory, and it will be very very bloody if. Most likely, the Hornet and the Scarab will not be getting mech reactors. They most likely won't. So, <laughs> it's going to be bloody. Stay tuned and see you next time.